Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make another follow-up video for the 100 series projector headlight retrofit project. Um, I got a couple of requests to make this video and kind of share some tips and tricks. Uh, I also will be sharing some video comparisons of the 100 series headlights illuminating the road next to modern vehicles. So one of them is a Tesla Model 3 and the other one is a Lexus LX570. So it'll give you a good comparison as far as uh, you know what you're looking for um, before you even tackle this project. Maybe you know you can find them on the road and kind of drive alongside them and see if you like the output of their headlights. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So before we roll these clips, I wanted to kind of just remind you what what stuff I have on the headlights. What are the specifications? Um, so I have Mishimoto Micro D2S. 5.0 projectors on my Land Cruiser and the bulb type is the Mishimoto XB and the color intensity is 5000K and also on the later clip with the LX570 initially you'll see that I have my my fog lights on um, <clears throat> to kind of aid with everything and those are actually the Baja Designs SAE Squadron um, and I think the color profile of that or the color intensity is 5000k as well so I, I tried to match the headlight with the fog light because I, I knew that I would be running those um, pretty much at the same time when it, you know when I need that extra bit of uh, illumination close-up here's a clip of the Tesla Model 3 and the 100 series Land Cruiser going on a California freeway okay here's the headlights of a Tesla Model 3 um, I think this is the dual motor version. These are the low beams. And I'm hopping onto a freeway. Okay, so that was a comparison of the Tesla Model 3 headlights versus the Land Cruiser 100 headlights. Comment below what you think. So I've got five tips to help you think through this project and kind of prepare you mentally. The first one is make sure you have the right tools on hand. And also, if you can, have some extra pieces on hand as well. So my second tip is to aim your headlights on the vehicle with everything in place before sealing the headlight. So that means put all the reflectors on, put the glass lens on, mount it on your vehicle, and then aim your headlights to make sure that you've got the proper amount of clearance for everything. My third tip is to wear gloves whenever you're handling any of the projector parts. My fourth tip is that you don't need to buy a spare set of headlights. If this is your only vehicle, take the time to do it, and you could use your original headlights. My final tip is to not epoxy the nut on the back of the projector until you are satisfied with the aiming and positioning of your headlights. So here's a video clip of me driving along a modern day LX570, and initially you can see that I have my fog lights on, and then I turn it off for a little bit more of an even comparison. So this is actually an LX570 and okay I've actually got my fog lights on so let me turn off my fog lights. Those are my projector lights only. Okay that was a clip of the LX570 versus the Land Cruiser 100 headlights I have in my vehicle. Comment below what you think. Okay what's the bottom line here? I think that if you don't plan on purchasing a newer vehicle with HID or LED headlights and you plan on keeping your 100 series for a couple of years, I would definitely do this modification again, but I wouldn't do it myself. I'd probably let somebody else do it for you. It's it's kind of a time suck and um, there's just all these little details that you have to do to get it right, but if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can, you can do this project and it's a great project. With good benefits at the end.